turning now to a disturbing story out of Laporte where this man has been arrested, accused of sexually assaulting children. At 4 o'clock, we heard from neighbors of 67-year-old Buford Lloyd Crowell. New tonight, we're hearing from the mother of an alleged victim. Our Roseanne Eric on live tonight in Laporte with that side of the story. And Roseanne, we understand some of the details in this case are pretty graphic. That's right. He was their landlord, someone they trusted tonight. This mother and daughter say they want this man behind bars. He's a very, very sick, twisted individual. This Laporte mother says she's fighting for justice. She says her daughter was 10 when she says she was sexually assaulted by 67-year-old Buford Lloyd Crowell, their landlord. They had just moved in after Harvey. I thought he was okay. He was a landlord, but before he had fixed all the neighborhood kids' bikes and... You know, he seemed like a grandfather type figure to everybody. Carl faces three counts of aggravated sexual assault and one count for having child pornography. Court documents say he took video of a child on a countertop while touching her private areas with his hands and mouth. This mother says that was her daughter. She was heartbroken. I have a lot of anger and I wish that they would put him under. Her daughter says he should be in jail. He forced me and I was very afraid. In the other charge, a woman recently came forward saying she was between the ages of 13 and 14 when she says Crowell had sexually assaulted her. She told police it happened eight to 10 times starting in 1997 while she volunteered with other Mason's daughters at the Laporte Masonic Lodge. She says Crowell was the head chef at events. Crowell is now behind bars after a judge recently set a new third $30,000 bond for that case. And Neighbors say... Because of his, his charismatic nature, I guess nobody ever seemed to click to what he was or what he could be. When searching the suspect's home, police found what they called trophies of Krauss, children's panties, hair, and inappropriate photographs in his bedroom. He gave kids Christmas presents and gifts. As I said, he was a mason. He helped run a toy drive. Now this survivor is hoping others who were sexually assaulted will come forward. Contact the police and tell them and tell your parents so he can get locked up for life. Now she tells me that she's not letting what happened to her keep her from moving forward. She says she knows she is strong and she and police are hoping that anyone who may be affected by this will tell someone. Reporting live from Laporte, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.